She has all the same speech patterns as Max now. Yeah, I noticed that because I was listening through a lot of this and I noticed that the way that they talk, but I can't tell if I'm just seeing things because I'm looking for them or not, but it feels like some of the ways that she speaks are like very clearly like imprinted from like Max's um, patterns. And I mean, to some extent, that might be normal a little bit too if you live with somebody. I'm curious now, uh, I'm curious what she does. I'm curious if she does anything now um, or does she just like live in his house? You know, he talked out of being trans, right? Um, yeah, I know. There's, I don't, I just don't want to deep dive on it because I feel like the more that I go in, like the worse it's going to look um, in terms of like my view of him. And I don't know if I, if I like need to do something, <laughs> but, I just, but holy shit, the, um, the before and after is like insane. Oh my God. Even their first date was like really weird i was watching some old videos on his channel um and it was them going he offered to give her like a personal training session after sending out like 500 messages to random girls on facebook <laughs> like which is technically an abusive situation if you're offering that's like technically grooming you offer to do a training session with somebody and then you use that as like a first date it's technically grooming actually but um yeah jesus christ Mr. O basically confirmed that he did lie to people behind the scenes last night. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> That's what that is. This is before Mogus even existed. Holy shit.